It was at the Liquid Zoo in Van Nuys. It's yeah. just a dive bar in a not a great area. Uh, but there's a man, probably 60s, silver hair, kind of looks like Ted Knight. Okay. Sitting at the bar wearing a polo shirt. No pants. Tidy whities <laughs> It takes us a while to realize this is what's going on because you're not looking at someone's legs. Yeah. You know, with the, they're sitting at the bar. But comedians start looking over and they see just hairy man legs. I'm like, is he wearing short shorts? And then they got a view of the tidy white. So they tell the bar the bartender. She informs the security guy. Security guy, calm dude, just comes over. The guy just looks as casual as can be. He's drinking a cocktail like a Cosmo or something. And the, and the security guy is just sits and he's like, hey, man, uh, you know, what's going on? Like, you're not wearing any pants. Can't really do that here. He was just like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, I live just around the corner. <laughs> I was like, all right. Still, you're not allowed to be in the bar with no pants on. He was like, yeah, do you mind if I just get another drink? I'll just be really quick and I'll just get <laughs> out of here. He's like, it was bizarre because in my, he was acting totally calm, totally normal. Yeah. But it was also, he wasn't offering an excuse or he was offering no excuse or no defense for the fact that he was not wearing pants. Merely saying, I'm not here to cause trouble. Yeah. Like he was just really framing it as, yes, not. his mode of rhetoric, if we're going to go back to a second before, his mode of rhetoric was just was to not necessarily accept the fact that he was not wearing pants, to not not accept it in any way. Like he didn't say, yes, I realize I'm not wearing pants or, oh yeah, the no pants. He merely listened to what the guy said. And then his response was just offering evidence. I live nearby. I just want another drink and I'll be quick. So he was just saying, this won't cause a problem. Please let me just exist in this space with no pants on for a limited amount of time. And then yeah. I'll leave. This is not going to lead to any other crazy behavior. This is a limited crazy act. <laughs> and then I'll be gone. Yeah. But he he did leave and you know wrapped it up. My question, it was funny because we were going through the show and then 20 minutes later, it just zoomed in my bread brain and popped out my mouth because i'm an idiot i just go was he wearing shoes <laughs> the only thing i could think he was the only thing i could think of is his pants got like ripped off in a machine or a lawnmower or leaf cutter and he was just like i need a drink yeah fuck it i'm getting a drink but that's comedy sometimes man <laughs> man that's how it goes <laughs> <laughs> but I, I just loved it because i like when you were like he was wearing shoes he was wearing shoes yeah i was like that like, to me, it's like, it takes a lot of effort to fuck up that bad. I imagine he's tying laces, you know? Yeah. But, yeah, he didn't seem at all off in any other way besides not wearing pants. <laughs> which you should do. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, can I just get one more for the road, you know? Yeah, just real quick. <laughs> just put this one back. What's going to, it's like, uh, yeah, because I want to add more alcohol to you. <laughs> I want to give you more alcohol, see what yeah. else happens. You're already not wearing pants. Yeah. Clearly more booze has never helped not wearing pants. <laughs> No one's ever been like, man, I'm shit-faced. I'm going to put some pants on. <laughs> it doesn't happen. No. Yeah. Just turn into toddlers. And unless fuck, it's take like, everything unless off. Unless it's like a Barney costume. Where you're like, oh, yeah, I'm drunk. I'm going to fuck up some kids' lives. <laughs> um, yeah, that's how that show started. Yeah. Really drunk guy. <laughs> Didn't want to make a return to Party City. <laughs> R.I.P. R.I.P. Rip. Oh, man. <laughs>